On this episode of Food Nerd, we're talking The Walking Dead. I woke up in the hospital. That's all I know. Lori? Lori! Call! But you know about the dead people, right? And for today's recipes, we've got a zombie-inspired meatloaf, and for dessert, brains in a jar. So sharpen your machetes, break out your escape plan, it's time to get our nerd on. Welcome to Food Nerd. Ready, aim, fire. TV series is based off the comic book series which was created back in 2003 by Robert Kirkman. In 2010, it won the Eisner Best Ongoing Comic Book Series at San Diego Comic Con. The story is based on a group of individuals who have come together after a zombie outbreak to better their chances for survival. What I really enjoy about this series is it's not necessarily about the zombies that they need to be afraid of, sometimes it's more about surviving each other. In 2010, Frank Darabont took the idea for the comic book series and brought it to AMC and brought the comic books to life. It is now one of the top television shows on TV. Last week was the season premiere of season 5 of this great ongoing television show. Make sure to check it out Sunday nights on AMC. For our first recipe today, we are making a zombie-inspired meatloaf. And it's going to be wrapped in bacon, so when it bakes, the bacon's actually going to crisp up and kind of look like flesh tearing apart. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. First, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then we're going to add a pound of ground beef into a mixing bowl. We'll add one egg, one cup of breadcrumbs, one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, half tablespoon of liquid smoke, and about two thirds cup of ketchup. Then you'll add some of your favorite steak seasoning, just enough to flavor. Then we'll mix that on through by hand. Then we'll line a bread pan with some bacon. Then we'll take the meat mixture and we're going to add that into the pan right on top of the bacon. Then we'll take the bacon strips and we'll, we'll re-wrap the top of the meat with those. And there it is. Zombie inspired meatloaf. Flash in the pan! For this flash in the pan, we're talking about five things that are zombie related that has caught my interest. First up, we've got an anime called High School of the Dead. It was released in 2010 by Genion Entertainment. It follows a small group of high school kids after the zombie apocalypse. They all band together to try to survive. It's a great story, check it out. Next up we have the comic book series Zombies vs. Cheerleaders. This also came out in 2010 that was created by Stephen L. Frank. Great stories, fun, inventive, just kind of playful, nothing serious about them. Every issue has a different artist, which I love. It's the same thing that goes with Hack Slash, which is another one of my favorite comic book series. Check out the comic book series. I can't recommend it enough. Next up, we have three video games that follow along with the zombie apocalypse. Number one, it's The Walking Dead. Now, it doesn't follow directly along with the TV series. It follows other survivors that have survived 
and it follows their storyline. Great storytelling, great artwork. Check this game series out. It just came out with Season 2 on PS3, uh, Xbox One, Xbox 360, as well as the PS4. Next up is The Last of Us. It was put out by Naughty Dog Studios and it was one of the top selling games of last year. The story follows a man and a young girl who have to team up in order to survive the infected after the outbreak happens. Beautiful story, beautiful artwork. Check the game out. It is coming out in a special edition on the PS4 and the PS3 as well as the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. Check those games out. And finally, my favorite, because I just dig the zombie cheerleader thing, is Lollipop Chainsaw. This game was put out by Suda51, one of my favorite video game companies. It was also directed and written by James Gunn, who just did Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a fun, playful game. Check the game out, a lot of hack slash sort of stuff. Next up is the music video Moon Trance by Lindsey Sterling. It's a fun, playful music video, kind of along the same sort of lines as Thriller by Michael Jackson. Kind of takes off on the same sort of themes, but Lindsey Sterling's music is amazing. Check out the music video, check out the rest of her stuff on YouTube. Also, pick up her new album, Shatter Me, which is available in the stores now and on iTunes. And finally this week, Huffington Post released the top 25 worst places in America to seek refuge during the zombie apocalypse. They based their numbers off of how many hospitals were in an area, as well as how many hardware stores were in an area, based on the amount of people in that same area. You can check out the chart on HuffingtonPost.com, or you can click on it down in the comment section down below. Flash in the pan! And for our second recipe, we're making brains in a jar. It's a layered cake, all made inside of a mason jar. Watch this. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click subscribe up in the top corner and also hit like right down here below. Make sure to check us out on www.imfoodnerd.com and make sure to keep watching The Walking Dead, which airs every Sunday night on AMC. Till next time, I'm Food Nerd. Aim, fire. Do I? Okay. Here we go. Because it's already recording.